Is your droid army lacking? Tired of LEGO not releasing CIS sets? Well, I may just have your solution. The UCS Droid Landing Craft, Separatist Landing Craft, C9979, whatever you want to call it, it is beautiful. This here is a design by Empire Bricks on Rebrickable. We'll be linking that down below if you want to buy the instructions for $5. It is 782 pieces, which is wild because look at that. It looks way bigger than 700 pieces. And this design is based off of the Phantom Menace, but this vehicle is also seen in the Clone Wars. Let's start off with the design. We'll move this out of the way. We're going to look at the mini builds. It comes with three little AATs. It does a really good job at making the most micro scale AAT. I think possible, honestly. I don't know if you could dull it more down than this. And then you have the MTT, which is a very good mini kit little thing. Kind of reminds me of those packs from 2003. And I am missing a dish piece because when I ordered the bricks off Bricklink, they sent me the wrong size dish piece. So thank you to the Bricklink seller who did that. Now my MTT looks very small in the front. I'm not a fan. Ditch those items to show you the big boy. Start with the main feature here, which is that the doors in the front can open. It's like a hatch, so that way the vehicles, come on now, can close back up, and then just like in the movie, unhatch it, and then they come out. You could also probably modify this to hold droids, but I don't think you're getting any more than like four in there, if I'm being honest. We'll get into the uh, flaws of it later. Let's look at the uh, positives only right now. The next feature, I don't know if you can really call it a feature, is that the turrets up on the top move 360 degrees. Moving on from the turrets, you'll see the cockpit area, which they had to scale down, obviously. You cannot actually fit any droids anywhere else in this ship other than this main compartment here. It's not meant to be a playset. It's definitely for display. Empire Bricks did a good job at getting the right detailing where it needs to be. Looking at the bottom here, nothing too crazy. And then getting the top view, we'll take a look at the wings. This here is the best Separatist landing craft model I've seen. Just because, see this? No Boeing, no support either. Every other model of this I've seen, there always has to be some sort of support for the wings just because there's a lot of weight and it's kind of long. So it just sags on other models, not this one, because it actually does something really cool. Prime my grimy fingers into here. Man, will you open? It is the word day of my life. Can I please get this open? Can I please get a waffle? Okay, there we go. So there's Technic bricks that align all the inside here that keep it nice and compact and together. You're actually getting good structure in a custom Lego set. When has that ever happened? That good structure does not sacrifice any quality in the wings as well. 360 degrees, you can see it's actually tiled off on all sides, which just makes it look a lot better. Finally, in the back here, you can see triangular engines. You can just see that there's a plates in a random variety here extending all across. The building process. This was actually a very enjoyable build. It's not very repetitive. When you're building this, you go from bottom to the top and you're not doing the wings separately, which is really nice. You're building out from the wings. You're not repeating the same step four different times. You're building it all up, all together. You need to be careful though, because you are using reddish brown parts. And what happens when you use old reddish brown parts off of Bricklink? Well, they break really easily. I can show you right here. Already a snap, already a break in my brick. Actually, while constructing this area, the hatch area, I push too hard. <laughs> it exploded. Similar to how when I was telling you in that last video, the Darth Vader helmet, which is right here, by the way, there's some parts and sets where you push too hard. Custom sets, I should say. The entire model can break. In this case, I wasn't so lucky and the piece is actually broke on me. Yeah, these reddish brown parts, if they're old, they just, they just snap real easy. You should subscribe because I'm breaking pieces just to make an example out of something. Now what we really want to know, where is this going to run you in terms of price? If you were to go on Bricklink, part it all out, and add up the total cost, including shipping from the stores, this thing is going to run you around $110, which is a really good price for a custom set of this size. Look at how big it is. 
It's it's as long as my arm. For $110, a Lego set long as my arm. That's actually a really good price. If Lego were to release a set like this, I could definitely see it going for like $160. You know they would. Just throw like five battle droids in too. Maybe a Jar Jar Binks for the fun of it. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if we got a Jar Jar minifigure. Just, just saying. You're definitely getting value. And with Lego not really releasing any separatist or trade federation or droid army building sets, this is a really nice thing to go out and buy and just compliment going against your clone army. So is this a buy or not? I don't know if I've made it clear already, but yes, this is definitely a buy. $110 for this? That's actually insane. The instructions are easy to follow and cheap. If you want to build up your droid army, this is a really good way to do so. It's great for display, but definitely measure out your shelves before getting this. This is like two feet long and it's just like a very awkward shape. I do have some things just to compare the scale. It's hard to get them both in the frame. About twice as long as the NTT. 2014 or 2015 AAT. It's about the same height. Battle droid minifigure in front of it. There are the mini builds in front of it just so you can get a scale. That just about does it here. Make sure to check out my other reviews on my channel. Subscribe if this is something that you enjoy. And I'm still not sure on the outro situation, but if I have an outro, go ahead and hit it. Oh man, what the hell broke? I should not have done that.